grandmother accused of the beating death of a four-year-old faces the judge. News 12's Erica Ferrari was at the arraignment and brings us the story. In the entryway of 1368 Metropolitan Avenue, you'll find two roses placed in memory of young Kevion Shand. The four-year-old's life cut short, beat to death by his grandmother, a crime unthinkable to most. But 45-year-old Angela Barksdale was arraigned in Bronx Criminal Court Monday on second-degree murder charges. As the DA read this statement Barksdale gave to police, many in the courtroom cringed. It read in part, I saw he went in his pants. I took him to the bathroom. I tried to pick him up. He fell in the tub. He dropped. He hit his head. I tried to pick him up. He fell down. He hit it again on the floor and again on the sink. The medical examiner says Kevion was killed from blows to his head, causing the little boy's brain to hemorrhage. The grandmother waited until Saturday night at around 6 to call 911, even though the MA determined the child died sometime between Thursday night and Friday morning. Barksdale's lawyer refused to comment. This man also dodged our cameras. He was heard screaming in the courtroom, you killed my baby, I hope you rot in hell. Back at apartment 3H, the medical examiner, special investigations unit, and police gathered information, leaving with a chair, a possible clue to the child's death, searching to piece together what neighbors call an unspeakable crime. I can believe it. I couldn't. It's so tough, really. That's sad. We may never know the terror that little Kevion went through inside of apartment 3H, but what we do know is that his grandmother will see the grand jury on February 27th. That's the story here on Metropolitan Avenue. I'm Eric Glory, News 12, The Bronx. ACS says they've also removed Kevin's sister, little 18-month-old Nema Shan, from the home. She was unharmed. News 12 will continue to follow this story closely. Choose the recent newscast you want to see. Go to Channel 612, select News, then Archives on News 12 Interactive, only on Cablevision, not on phone company TV or anywhere else.